What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about a couple of coaching changes that we have on our coaching staff. You have wide receiver coach Gunnar Brewer, defensive line coach Chris Wilson, and assistant offensive line coach Eugene Chung. Well, all three of them will no longer be with the coaching staff going forward into the 2019-2020 season. Um... You know, usually whenever a team wins a Super Bowl and then the following year they fall a little short, you know there's going to be some changes being made, whether it's justifiable or not. You know, the um, it's, it's basically inevitable that some changes are going to be made. Um, the Gunner Brewer change, I kind of understand it a little bit. You know, the wide receivers were were not as good this year as they were last year. And especially when you look at, in the just in the divisional round matchup against the New Orleans Saints. Uh the first half, man, we came out like gangbusters, took a 14-nothing lead. Um uh, Foles was hitting the guys. But after that, man, it wasn't really much separation. You know, um wasn't really much separation between, you know, credit to the New Orleans Saints, you know, their secondary played very, very well. But, you know, with our guys, it really wasn't much separation after that. So you know, you kind of understand why Dougie P. Um, felt and Howie Roseman them felt like they, maybe they didn't either uh, make a change as far as the wide receiver coach, especially you know the year before when Mike Groh, who was our offensive coordinator right now, did such a fabulous job with our wide receivers, especially especially Nelson Aguilar. Man, I mean, it's almost like Nelson Aguilar went away somewhere and came back as a brand new person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was teetering around bus. Now he's he's in the he's in the discussion of actually being a long term solution for us at that slot re uh, receiver position. So Mike Grove, which you know led him to being an offensive coordinator. So um, yeah, we're gonna be making changes at the wide receiver. Um, Eugene Chung, man, he was an assistant offensive line coach. You know he wasn't Jeff Stoutland. He's not the actual offensive line coach. So quite honestly, man, I mean, I, don't, it's, I guess it's something about him that they don't like. You know, I can't really say too, too much about him because I don't know exactly. I know he's also, I think, the run game. Well, maybe because, you see, he's also the run game coordinator also. Um, and obviously, this year, man, it, <laughs> we didn't have, like, a lick of a running game. Granted, there was no J.I.J. out there. There was no LeGarrette Blunt like last year. Um, Corey Clement ended up going down. There was no Sproles for the majority of the season. Um, and in the game, in the playoff games, both playoff games, man, we had absolutely zero running game. So I know Deuce Staley is the running, is the actual running backs coach, but I guess they didn't like his, the way, you know, Eugene Chung game plan going ahead into the matchups and stuff like that as far as the run game. Now, the one that does surprise me a little bit is that, you know, we didn't technically fire him, but we didn't renew his contract neither, and he won't be back. And maybe it's him. Maybe he doesn't want to return. Maybe he wants to go somewhere else. Who knows? But I'm very surprised that Chris Wilson will no longer be on this coaching staff, our defensive line coach. You know, um, especially with Fletcher Cox. I wonder how Fletcher Cox feels about that. You know, he was Fletcher Cox's posi uh, position coach over there at Mississippi State uh, when Fletcher Cox was at Mississippi State. But... I don't know, man. I, I thought, I mean, yeah, it's times where we could get more pressure than what we're getting. But, I mean, it's not many teams in this league. We we typically only rush four pass rushes. We typically rush four and drop seven. So, I mean, it's hard unless you're just playing up against, unless you, you just got Hall of Famers all along your defensive line or you're just playing against an absolute putrid the offensive line. It's hard to generate consistent, 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 consistent pass rush when you're only rushing four unless those guys are that dominant and at times they get the job done you know you got guys like Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham and Chris Long and Michael Bennett and Timmy Jernigan along the defensive line but I know at, at times we could have played a little better I agree you know but I liked Chris I thought Chris Wilson did a good job you know and I'm always gonna remember him um after we won the Super Bowl you know, last season, he was the very first person that Dougie P hugged on the sideline, if you go back and watch that, as soon as we won the game. But uh, I don't know what, what they're looking for as far as, you know, going into the next year, you know, on along the defensive line. Maybe they want somebody new because 
You know, it's a possibility we lose Brandon Graham this year, uh, in the offseason. It looks like, you know, Chris Long may retire or just not come back. It's a possibility we don't have Michael Bennett back. So, it, you know, it basically seems like it's going to be more of young guy, a young core of guys around, you know, the Fletcher Coxes and Timmy Jernigans and Derek Barnett, who is still a young guy himself, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Chris Wilson won't be back next season, man. I kind of like Chris Wilson, man. But, um... Yeah, man. Excuse me. But with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Eagles content, man, throughout the season. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.